Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth4 for another episode of Ninu Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. In the last episode, we took down four different bounties, and now we're going to take down the last three on our list. The first is right over here, uh, by the Pig Iron Plain North, right next to where we had to go uh, for finding the fairies. So, uh, yeah, this is the Shell Shocker. Electro Shocker! Uh, it's actually not too tough, honestly. Most of these turtles are uh, generally... Uh, resistant to physical, I don't think this one is. It has 5,140 health, no weakness, and resists storm. So, once again, we're just going to you know, take out our atomic bomb and um, bust some bellies. Yep, 602. Okay, so yeah, this this really shouldn't take too long. In fact, let's start with a psych up. We'll, we'll uh, <clears throat> go between psych up and... Uh, and Belly Buster because Psych Up just did an incredible amount of damage. That did close to a thousand there, I would say. Uh, so let's do that one more time because we might actually get just get to kill him if we don't miss a lot. Yep, there we go. Okay, wow. <laughs> yeah, that did about a thousand damage because it was five or six attacks. Oof. And yeah, barely anything, but we do get a uh, level up by Aurora, who's getting closer and closer to... I'm gonna... I decide Aurora's a girl, by the way. We're getting closer to her uh, metamorphose. Uh, our next quarry is... Uh, Solitary Isle, Isle by Tahiti. So let's... Let's just warp to Tahiti, then. Huh. Oh, fairground. Whoops. I was like looking for Tahiti as a warp location, but it's an island, Dovey. Uh, anyway, uh, Solitary Isle is the south one, I believe. That's the one where we had to go for uh, Questy Quest over there. Could have sworn I actually saw the. Uh, but no, it wouldn't have spawned that close. Okay. Yeah, just standing right here. Uh, just to put my mind at ease, I'm going to use... Going to use... Okay, good. We don't have anything here. Yeah, I used it for that one spot. But anyway, uh, we have an Ionic Column. And this guy... This guy, I believe, is going to resist physical. So let me just see what his... What his uh, weakness is. This is one of the... Unknowns, I think. No? Actually, I have no idea. I have no idea what his stats are. One second, let me find him. Oh, yeah, he's going to resist physical and be weak to storm. So let's just give... So that I don't repeat the mistakes of the past. Let's just give him something that's elemental. 498 to 4... 73 I think that I think that we can we can chance it um, And I'm gonna switch you to okay. Yes, so yeah Now it's time for the ionic column 8045 health weak to storm resist physical I'm really gonna miss these you know fighting these guys cuz we're we're finishing off the last of, of the last of all of these guys and I really wish there was some way to get them on our team like that annoying kid had. Uh, but yeah, what? Why am I still physical? Oh, because that's physical, derp. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing lots of physical attacks instead of... Uh, yeah, because Belly Buster is a physical el a physical uh, elemental whatchamahoozit. So I'm just gonna be attacking and psyching and attacking and psyching. I think by the time I finish my attack cycle, uh, yeah, cycle should finish, and then I'll be able to do that again. So let's count how many attacks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, let's not get broken. You slash and burn, because why not? Uh, okay, why did you send out the tree? I'm starting to regret giving them the tree. I should have kept it on my team. Uh, let's thunderstorm you, because why not? see how much this does 233 not bad not great but not bad especially since it's pretty much my only uh, my only uh, electric type move 
storm, not electric. This isn't Pokemans. Uh, come on, Marcus, and do something with your life. Psych up. And let's just walk up to him before we do the go wild. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, that went a lot, a lot better than the last time. No, I'm not updating my my graphics driver in the middle of recording. Thank you very much, Nvidia. Uh, okay, let's see. Sappy is level 16 now, and Haku is level 16 as well. Haku the second, excuse me. I'm gonna have to keep catching myself on that one. And finally, we have Warbird of Prey by the Swan Island north of the Summerlands. Uh, yeah, so that's that was by the Starter Island. So I think we could just go south from where we are. Yeah. Okay. And we'll be pretty much, pretty much there. Let's go a little bit, a little bit this way. Southwest? Okay, yeah. Beautiful. Now, I, I honestly can't believe that I got through this so easily, but then again, we're really not done. Because, like I said, we have the, uh... The, the wave two bosses. There's, I think, four, four waves of the bunny man's uh, desires of us to die. But yes, the warbird. I probably should have given the Tom to hammer back. Let's see what a horrible idea that was of not Let's doing go. that, because we have warbird HP unknown, no weakness or resistance. Okay. So this is actually a unique, unique enemy. I don't think we've seen any of its like before, which is kind of cool. See how much we do with Belly Buster. 542? Um, wow, he's actually giving us a run for our money. Amnesia. The Dark Descent. Oh, you nixed him. Okay, that's what. Kind of makes sense, I guess. So I would, I would give him around six or seven thousand health here. Really, not, not that big of a deal. Honestly, we are running out of stamina, so let's get one more psych up in the mix. Ha! Whoa, he just stole money from us. Okay, that is that's it. It's on. It is it is about to be on like Donkey Kong. Oh, uh, they got the Nyx got off before I could raise my attack. It's not gonna be on like Donkey Kong. Get away from me, get away from me! You're not Donkey Kong. Thank you guys, throwing rocks at him. Uh, yeah, let's get you back out there. Yeah, even without the, uh, the raised attack, we're still doing a nice amount here. Uh, let's put Warcry back on. What are you doing? What are you doing, Swain? Okay, so this should be the final, uh... Dang, this guy's got crazy evasion! Okay. Seriously, man. Alright, Zabumafu, and Haku too, and Jules, and Aurora, Woodbridge, okay now Metamorphose, I think he goes to 18 though, Sickly Spores, let's check that out. <sighs> Poisoning an enemy, let's do that, uh, you know what, let's not do that because I would take away your only, uh, Yeah, let's give you a healthy glow. That would take away your only attack. <laughs> um, can anybody else here learn anything interesting? You. Uh, let's do that. Why not? 
Uh, oh, right. You learned Haymaker, that's right. Okay, uh, we're gonna replace Belly Buster with Haymaker. Don't you use... I think he learns Haymaker too, in a little bit. But anyway, um, that is the final that. Yeah. And we also have... Oh, right, we gotta beat the Grubby Fug for Derwin. Let's go do that then. Let's go finish off Derwin's, uh, thingamabobs. This one's by Jack Frost, uh, Island, so... Let's travel to... Let's travel to... Glittering Grotto to heal up and then we'll head out. Right, I totally forgot about Derpwin's quests because they weren't listed separately. I like that fact that you could just go to a dungeon for free healing. Also, uh, you're going to be coming to the Glitter and Grotto a lot because the golden uh, enemies here are golden uh, draggles. Golden dragon muffins, maybe? Um, regardless, they're, uh, they have something to steal or something that drops, I don't remember which, uh, that is highly prized. Um, I, I honestly, off the top of my head, don't remember uh, what the what the uh, object is, but it's uh, whatever alchemy ingredient, it's gonna be one you're gonna be wanting a lot, so. Let's see, this the fug was over here, was it? Nope. This is Jack Frost's playground, is it not? There you are. It's weird that it's not showing up on the map, but okay. Uh, do I want to, do I want to take off your... Do I want to take off... Which... Which quest is this? Fierce Creatures is 75. So to make sure I have the correct stats. This guy's gonna be weak to fire and resist storm. So let's take. Let's give you the steam hammer back. All aboard the steam train! Whoop whoop! Uh. Can I give you one of these instead? Yeah, okay, that's good. Radiant Blade versus the Sorcerer's Soul. Oh, definitely. Not that it's going to make a difference. You are weak to fire, though. So... So... So I don't really care. I've stopped paying attention for the most part. It's the grubby fuck Derwin is going on about. Look at the man blue and feisty to me. We promised him. Rah! Here we go! I've stopped caring about elements, as long as it's not physical. Oh, he looks so happy, look at that. He looks so much happier than the everyday average thug. Hashtag thug life. Yeah, I'm gonna say that one again. Belly Buster! 618, okay, and let's try it. Let's see the psych up. Let's see how that goes. This guy also has great evasion. Oh, I was not paying attention. Also, Haymaker does 185. You could probably do with some some, uh, some boosting up yourself, uh, Tintin. Okay, so you're about to go out, so... Why do you not look like you're weak to fire? Oh, you are though. Okay. Uh, let's get your war cry out. Okay, 71. Hey, Ponyo's actually doing a nice job. I'll let him finish it off. Or it could be the... Really? Was that Woodbridge? The last move I saw there was Sling Stone. 
Wow, Woodbridge. MVP. I am impressed. I am impressed. Uh, and Aurora is now level 30. I thought that was your max level. Oh, God. What? Wonderful. Such ferocious fighting. Ever dreamed I was observed firsthand. Boy, what are you doing? How long have you been watching? you will find I've been here since the very beginning. Okay. An auric column by the genie steps. Body is majestic golden hue. Okay, so Derwin's following us around, and that's creepy. Uh, so here we're going to travel to Castaway Cove, because why not? Okay, so this orc column is going to be our last column enemy. And I'm going to be putting the Tom to Womp to back on there. It's not a golden enemy. No. The genie steps are over here. So I think he's going to be around here. Yep, okay. It's funny, we had the dork column before. This is an orc column. Orc is the, uh, the, uh, uh, God. The table of the elements. Periodic table name for gold. That's why it's AU. I think it's AU. I haven't haven't been in game history in a few years already. Necker circles nothing. But anyway, the orc column. Five thousand three hundred forty health, weak to storm and resists physical once again, but this time I'm prepared. Uh so yeah, let's get Warcry out. And then we're gonna do the psych up and attack uh combo. Because uh Belly Buster isn't going to be too good against him. Miss, hit, two, three, four, five, beautiful, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're just going to inner strength our way to victory here. Actually, he's probably going to be dead by the time we do this. Inner strength for us is essentially war cry, so I don't actually find that too useful, but he's dead nonetheless. Wow, these have such terrible experience. Oh god, you. Yay, more data for me to pour over. I was so taken out of the grace and display, I was very nearly neglected to tech notes. I jest, of course. There is never any danger of that. Uh, and this one is going to be the no longer mine. Okay. Deadliest creatures known to science. Is this really a great idea? Oh, come on, man. You can't go letting lethal spike and a bit of impenetrable armor put you off. Besides, you have, uh, you have yours truly to help you, ain't it? Yeah, so let's go to no longer mine. And I really don't think we need to heal. I know that Swain is getting low on, on health there. I just need to gonna give you back your steam hammer. I know that Swain is getting low on mana, not health. Um, but honestly, who cares? Also, I thought that bird was like a enemy or something, but nope, it's just a ho-oh. It's a reference to Pokemon, by the way. For those of you uncultured louts out there. I mean, come on. How can you not know Pokemon? Uh, where would you be on the No Longer Mine? Uh, whatever. There you are. Oh, it's so cute. It's like a bull turtle. Unicorn. Here comes my shelmet! Wait a second, that's a Pokemon. Brah! <laughs> yeah, that's a Shelmet. So yeah, Pokemon got it wrong. Let's see, this came came out in 2012 or something. I don't know. So yeah, this is this is a little little bit after Pokemon Black. Okay, Shelmet, 3,960 health, no weakness, but resist storm. Honestly, I really thought this guy would be stronger. He obviously has higher defense, but 
still. Like, you know. Actually, you know, do the side thing. I don't know. I don't know, war cry again. Oh well. Yeah, I don't know, it's just kind of sad that this boss is <laughs> going down really fast. It's also sad that I, I'm not going to have the same luck if I try to do the next level of the Salisium. Like, I would still get completely murdered. That's also because I can't just expend all of my all of my stats, all of my MP. Impressive work! I knew you'd make the right choice. I made the right choice in trusting this research to you. So you got your data? I certainly did. Thank you, young man. The data you have helped me collect is about to revolutionize the natural sciences. That sounds just swell, I guess. Good luck with your research. I shan't be requiring luck. Oh, here's a little something for your trouble. Oh God! I yeah, that's right. This guy. Okay. That's why. I that's where I got the lumberwood from. Remember a couple episodes I spent time trying to get a lumberwood? You're supposed to get it from Derpwin. Anyway, uh, the important thing is this is where we get the Dinoceros ticket I've been waiting for. Also a relics ticket if you really want to make a second relics in your party, which I say is a really good idea. Uh, Jules is awesome and having a second one might not be a bad idea. Uh, I'm probably not going to, but uh, the fact is we just got a second Dinoceros. And he is definitely going on my team uh so we are going straight to the temple of trials and gosh dang it i forgot the name that i gave to my second dinosaurus mm. so i named smasher after my tyranitar ah oh, i really don't know okay but anyway let's hand in the uh three tickets uh, this is where I originally got the lumberwood from, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to be. I guess I might, you know, ancillary to to using it in my party. I'm going to be using this lumberwood to get the second version of its uh, uh, whatever. But um, yeah, it's definitely something to hold on to. Timberus Sylvester's leafy barco. Let's go for Timberus. Yay! Uh, familiar ticket, yes. Yeah, so let's go for the relics. We have Ronald. Nope. Ronald, Roland, Remy, and Rembrandt. Um, let's go for Remy. I like that name. Like I said, I'm, I'm probably not going to have him because I'm running out of space in my party. But uh, the important thing is right here we have a Dinoceros. You can also catch a second one, but I knew we were going to get a ticket. Dean Dindin Dino and Dino Might. I might have named him Dino, actually. But that kind of sounds kind of dumb. Um, give me a second. Oh, no, I remember the name I gave him. Ragnarok. <laughs> the end of the world. <laughs> uh, but yes, so we're going to start putting people away now. Uh, I'm going to have to make a tough decision. <laughs> tough decision here. Uh, first things first, I don't need you. Second things second. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Haku. But I think I think I am going to stick with Dragget for a while, for with Haku the second. But we had our good times. We got you since the beginning of the Let's Play, and I barely used you, and is really nice. And uh, I'll be sure to call on you if I need you. Rosso, I really don't see myself using for a while, but I'm gonna keep him here. Uh, as for somebody that I'm going to be replacing the Smasher area with... Uh, t -t 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 -t. You guys are still fast. You're still a tank. I'm gonna need you for a while yet. 
Uh, I, I kind of think I'm going to get rid of Spirited because Gogo -Go might have its uses, but Spirited I don't find myself using too much in general, and although he is amazing in... Actually, he's a, he's a better magic attacker at this point than Gogo. Uh, -Go. Hmm. Let's see, 250... No, let's just... 234, 253, 177, 237. Gogo -Go is a bigger tank, but Esther sucks at using her so much, using it so much. 269, 292, so it has better defense. It has worse attack though. And we have much better evasion, so I think I'm going to be putting away Gogo. -Go. Thank you so much, Gogo, -Go, for all your help during this the course of this game. It's been really awesome. Do I want to get rid of it? Ah, oh, I want to say goodbye to it because I'm not going to use it. And I'm like raising all these other guys. But Gogo's also one of my... Oh, no, but see, Jules. Jules is really going to replace Gogo, -Go, isn't he? Because Gogo -Go has, has the water and the and that, and so do you. And Gogo, -Go, I, I have other healers. So I think I'm going to drop him off. And I'm going to retrieve our new friend, Ragnarok. This is killing me, guys, honestly. I really- I'm the type of person that just sticks with the same team throughout, like, every game. Uh, like, Pokemon, I, I- I- I keep my starters as long as humanly possible, even when it's detrimental to me. Uh, what did I do to your poor, your poor accuracy? Uh, what can I, what can I do? What, what? One second. Oh, your accuracy is 18 to begin with. Um, so you know what? Let's, yeah, let's just give you the night armor for now. And we're going to give you the Tomta Wamta. Problem is, I don't have a second Dragon's Tooth Ring, so I guess I'll just be giving him the good stuff here. And, uh, I mean, it's definitely going to take a little while to, uh, to train him up, but we'll, we're going to put Spirited in that slot for now, I think. And, um, switch you back. Yeah. So I think we're good for now for there. Uh, and let's see what other quests we have going. We're at 28 minutes though. I think we're gonna stop the episode here. So yeah, we still can't do that. We have to go back to the conductor. We have to go visit Smiley and Surly and also we have to go back to the Ivory Tower. So I think we're going to in the next episode we are going no 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 I, I promised we're gonna do it. I promised we were gonna do it in this episode. Uh sorry. Sorry L score we're going back to the bunny man. <clears throat> It's, it's a really tough decision for me to to uh, replace anybody in my party, especially guys I've been using a lot, and um, this game has a lot of really good familiars, and it all depends on preference, and essentially that preference comes down to the fact that I really, really, we're supposed to go this way, I really enjoy using uh, physical fighters that are also meat shields, that's just my style, and uh... This is where we're, yeah. And, yeah, that's 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 what it ends up being, really. Uh, I guess we have to go s starting from here. Yeah, okay, we're gonna have to walk all the way. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I enjoy using, you know, meat shield type characters just in general in games. Like, I'm playing a, a mobile game right now called Final Fantasy Record Keeper on my tablet. It's essentially, it's a Final Fantasy game, and you get to, you know, it's one of those, like, uh, free-to-play things. And, um, but the essential thing is you can get a whole bunch of different Final Fantasy characters. But my team ends up always being, like, Sephiroth, Orin, uh, Paladin, Cecil, Cloud, and Lightning. Like, those are all the fighters. Lightning isn't a meat shield, but uh, Cecil, Paladin Cecil and Orin generally are, and the other ones are just strong, and yeah. So anyway, back to this guy. Oh, for a new rift has been formed, would you be chab and steal it up for me? Was that the voice I gave you? Oh dear, look rather confused. You worked out what these rifts are by now while you didn't see one for yourself. But yeah, so now... 
wait. Don't I have to go defeat the monsters that come from the rifts? Oh, right. So now we head back to Swift Solutions. And Swift Solutions has a whole bunch more bounties for us, idiot. But yeah, so in the next episode, um, I think what I'm going to do off screen is uh, train up my team a little bit. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go Toko Toko hunting. And uh, then we're going to be just just to level up a little bit and then we're going to be ready for the wave two bosses because some of these guys are really nasty. Uh, as you can see, we have stomach trouble. This is the uh, boss from uh, the mummy's tummy. Uh, we have the uh, porcine palace. That's going to be um, uh, the Porco Grosso. Uh, this is on Tombstone Trail, so that's going to be the... Uh, Candle Abracadabra. Uh, breathing Fire again. This is going to be the Dragon the, from the Red Dragon. This is going to be from uh, Apep. This is going to be Captain Crossbones. Oh god, I'm so happy. <laughs> I love Captain Crossbones. Glaring Grotto was the Fenrir. Or uh, Sir, Sir Boreas, sorry. Um, Miasma Marshes was uh, Vile Heart. And. Yep, that's it for now. <laughs> Uh, claim bounties. The light relief gem. That actually might be pretty good. Ten merit stamps. And a legend appears. Ba -ba -da -bam. Celestial sword. Yay. Ten merit stamps and a war bird of prey. Three angel wings. Huzzah. And this has been Sephiroth to the four with Ninu Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. Yeah, we have two two cards. Uh, so thank you very, very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.